people of God, Martin here, Turn of Ministry, welcome with me. Um, it's a privilege for me to speak on this topic, um, the blood of Jesus that speaks. And um, I think this is actually the 10th um, video already speaking on a tabernacle of Moses where God would came in Exodus 25, you can read of it. And he would say to Moses, Moses, I want to dwell among the people and I want you to build a tabernacle for me. Now that word tabernacle is also a word dwelling place and um, or a temple. And that dwelling place we would see in John and uh, John 14, Jesus would say, I want to um, go and prepare a place for you. And that place is also a dwelling place um, so that you can be where I am and we know that our body in the New Testament our body is now the tabernacle and the temple that Jesus prepared on the cross so that we um, can be one with him so this is an awesome awesome revelation and um, so Moses come here and built it exactly because this will represent a body and a man a man called Christ now we are the body of Christ and um, so we are part of him and this temple that you need to build tabernacle that you need to uh, build will um, be a shadow of a real thing all right a good thing to come so um, it's so awesome when we read hebrew um, 9 and 10 and 11 th there then it would say that jesus wants the second um, to stand he came to do the will of the father to finish and uh, the first so that the second the, the christ man the reality the real thing must stand and not the shadow anymore so we have already um, spoken on a few things and I need to just draw um, very fast so that you can see all right here my board is the tabernacle you know the outer court and then we had the uh, holy place and then there was the most holy place all right we already spoken on on the things here all the utensils and stuff and, and this morning I want to focus a little bit on that altar of incense and then in the most holy place how awesome that is so yes um, if you have your Bible I want you to, to go to Revelation Revelation 8 verse 3 Revelation 8 verse 3 and, um, oh this is so awesome to, to hear this all right so remember this is the altar just before you enter the most holy place here were the table of bread the 12 breads um, that represent the Jewish people of God the 12 tribes and uh, how it was sprinkled with frankincense all right and we know that Jesus says I um, am the living bread and then this side was the candlestick or the menorah and um, it was the only thing that were solid gold in a, a, um, in this temple or tabernacle and um, it was the only light source all right and jesus would come and say in his word that your word is a light unto my feet and to my path and um this candlestick also represents the church because we are the light Jesus is the light and the life John 1 verse 4 says I'm the light and the life of man and it's the word so everything explains actually Jesus Christ and I said when you open Jesus Christ you open man as well so this is a shadow of a man Christ all right but this needs to come in the reality it was once only a shadow so man was a normal man 
and then we need to be mingled with Jesus all right and then we can become Jesus Christ his body all right so this is so important now let's read Revelation 8 verse 3 there's so many more information that we can give about this but I believe you already seen other videos and teachings as well um, speaking on how awesome it is and um, so if you have your Bible I'm reading and another angel now remember this is now the book of Revelation and John say he saw things that were in the spirit realm that was opening Jesus Christ because Revelation 1 verse 1 says this is the revelation of Jesus Christ so this is the revelation of this or remember this was only a shadow of the person the real thing all right yes Jesus Christ this is a revelation of him so if we can see things in the book of Revelation we will see also things here all right and understand things here so it says and another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer all right so yeah just before you enter the most holy place where an altar of incense a censer an altar of incense all right having a golden censer in his hand all right and there was given unto him much incense all right this is the altar of incense yeah listen what john saw and it says that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar watch which was before the throne all right i saw an angel with a golden incense a censer with gold with incense much incense and that i need that he should offer it with the prayer of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne all right so in a sense the most holy place is the throne all right i say jesus christ loves process don't forget it don't um be worried or stressed out or um asking the lord what why don't we see things when people will come to the lord remember it's a process jesus loves process why do i say this because everything that god made that is alive is a process you get the seed it now must die it will become a little bit bigger and then it will be full grown all right or you were once a seed and an egg and then you were a baby and then you are infant and then you are a teenager god loves process all right so the perfection is inside the most holy place so people some people only come to jesus as the offering and then they never will go to church and they will never go to the word all right so first look here all right this door this door is the door that will bring salvation because jesus christ is the only way to the father so this is actually a way to the father to be one with him this is the way to perfection so first of all you need actually salvation all right go through the door then the blood redeemed us you know there's a song i'm redeemed by the blood you remember the offering is where the blood flow so you were redeemed so salvation will come many people are saved when they go through jesus christ but they are not going through the process unto oneness all right another thing is we will teach people that all you have the mind of christ but not all christians have the mind of christ 
you are maybe now shocked what I'm saying because Paul is saying it in 1st Corinthians but we have the mind of Christ he's speaking there of people that has the spirit and the mind of Christ that went into perfection all right that heard the deep revelations of God all right it's not all men that has the mind of Christ so here we are redeemed then we are sanctified another word for sanctified is washed we are sanctified or washed by the word of God constantly the priest had to go and you know wash himself all right then they had to go through this curtain this door that were called the truth so outside you were in the way you are part of the way but you never pass through truth you need to go to a deeper place truth your soul needs to be enlightened and then here we had the candlesticks that illuminate you all right because that speaks of the holy spirit you need the holy spirit you need the power of the holy spirit that was the oil and the life in the word the word to read the word without the holy spirit it's no good you need the oil and it was crushed oil that was olives that was used so jesus christ is an olive olive brings oil oil speaks of life the olives needs to be crushed jesus needs to be crushed and died on the cross to bring life to you i cannot give you the holy spirit because i'm here john you remember but jesus would say in john 7 um, i'm going to give you water of life but i'm speaking of the holy spirit but i cannot give it now because i'm still here all right but when i'm going to be crushed hang on the cross died for you life will flow and the holy spirit will come so this word is the word of god has spirit inside of it and jesus died was crushed as olives all right to bring life and oil those candlesticks never died that light was ever ever living burning actually this the first time when they dedicated first of all Aaron and Moses stood go inside the tent and they came out and they blessed the people and the Bible says that God would light that altar with fire and then they used that fire and light always to this light burnt and that incense that we are talking about was also used with that fire all right so um yes so we speak of the altar of incense all right what is the altar of incense it's worship so we are going and we are saved salvation then we are redeemed by the blood then we are sanctified with the word of god then we are illuminated revelation we get revelation of who it truly is and we receive the holy spirit all right you need the holy spirit then this side is the bread that represents his body that were broken for us and we need to eat of it and be part of it and this also represents us because jesus would take the bread he bless it we are blessed and then he break it all right yeah people are not broken they are salvation that were redeemed because they have faith in jesus christ they were washed with the word of god but sometimes when you need to go through to the perfection the most holy place you need to eat of the bread of christ and be blessed and then be broken he blessed the bread he broke the bread and he gave the bread to eat the last supper all right so we are blessed first of all then jesus will break us and then he will give us all right so franken says it speaks of worship i'm going this incense is worship so you will become illuminated 
there you were satisfied then there you become the worshipper a worshipper I do not want worship there's many people that worship God but God does not want worship listen God wants worshippers I want worshippers that worship me in spirit and truth so yes you go through the gate the way but I want you to worship me go through truth and I want you to be partake of this the gold things everything outside were brass brass or bronze or copper that everything was gold godly I want you to go deeper process go into all right and become a worshipper I want worshipers that worship God all right but in spirit and in truth not worship but worshipers all right so then you go through that curtain that were shredded in two when Jesus hung on the cross and he died the moment when he died the Bible says that that curtain was rent in two all right and then you get the the altar excuse me the altar the um, another word for um, ark a ark is a carrier all right so the ark of testament or the ark of the lord all right the presence of god was on it and in it all right so another word for ark means carrier so it carried something there were three things inside first of all the law now many people are against the law the law is actually the heart of God and it is in two um, uh, portions the first four speaks of your relationship with God and the last six with your relationship with men you cannot be against the law of God because Jesus was Christ was saying do you must fulfill the law love your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself in that you will fulfill the whole law so the law is not bad all right it is the heart of God the heart of God is protected in this carrier all right so we would see all right remember the problem with the law of the Old Testament was they did this in their own strength and they could not do it that was the problem so we are not under law meaning you are not under the law without the spirit trying on your own strength and works it is now the grace that will empower you and it will be like a relationship you will do the law of God love Jesus and your neighbor as yourself you will do it because you have now the grace or the spirit or the energy or the power within you all right that's very important to know it now this ark had a solid um, also shit and wood but the solid lid and on top of this lid was the mercy seat inside was also the rod of iron and that was also an almond rod all right and it blossomed almond why almond almond is the tree in israel all right that will be uh, the first blooming tree in that area all right the almond so why almond it shows us the first the first hasten you know so it's the first and it is hasten and it is the first tree that will show life all right so it speaks of christ is the rod a rod is authority all right out of a rod a rod is a dead stick all right jesus is the rod the authority the ruler it speaks of rulership that will die 
and out of it will come life. All meant soon. All right, because it's the first tree that will show life. He will be the first brethren of many. He will be the first one that tastes death and will be resurrected. All right, so that many will come forth. That rot is awesome. So the almond tree is very important. The, remember the candlesticks were also of almond flowers and stuff. So it was precious and very specific why an almond tree. Because God is going to do something soon. Bring life. He is the first one. Alright. Then you remember the manna. Now I just going to read to you John 6 verse 32 as well the manna in the desert where God would give manna to the people to eat was also in the ark of the covenant it says Jesus then said to them John 6 verse 32 Jesus then said to them I assure you most solemnly I tell you Moses did not give you the bread from heaven or the manna what Moses gave you was not the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true heavenly bread. Alright, Moses did not give you, my Father gave you that manna, but that manna was a represented representation of the true bread. My Father gives you the true heavenly bread, and we know that Jesus, I'm the bread of life all right the bread of life so you can see the heart of God it's protected and you know that God is the one that will die and blues blossom soon all right and almond it's awesome and then I'm the true bread of life and that was in that most holy place in the ark but above above this golden lid solid golden lid was the mercy seat where the two angels met between those places were the mercy seat of God that was the place where God met Moses or where God met Aaron, the high priest, once a year. All right, so we need to know and understand. He took only one thing inside. It was pitch dark, no light except God's glory light that shined there. All right, he took two times that day, once a year, blood in. The first time he will go in. He go underneath the curtains because the curtains was very thick, many curtains, layers. I can spoke or speak on that as well. All right, he go underneath, and then he will put blood drops on the mercy seat, and then um, God will cleanse him. And then he will come out, and later the day he will go in to to um, pray and do the forgiveness of sin. Um, of the unknown sin of all the people of God alright but there he met God's glory and oneness and that place speaks of oneness, true oneness and perfection so we want to think and it's good that people that went through the way, the true truth and the life that they're already one year with God it's true they are one but they are not perfected they are not fully grown into that oneness all right the word helps you with that oneness then this um, table bread and light and worship help you further until you went into the most holy place where perfection is true perfection true oneness is and god will meet you I do not want offerings, I never desire offerings, but I want mercy. I want mercy. 
uh, people did not understand that because they did not read it in context of this it was in the context of the tabernacle I want mercy that means I want presence I want you to be in my presence I want you in perfection I want you in full grown form I want you to come through the whole process to be one with me and be blessed now I, re I said that this had four curtains on all right this holy place you know this at white linen between the 20 poles and here with 10 poles all right we already spoke on that oh that was awesome but this linen all right in the inside the the one that they could see were white linen white also always speaks of righteousness but it had the blue and the purple and the red scarlet things inside of it all right you know that blue speaks of heaven or sun jesus as the son of god all right he comes from heaven he's not from earth all right then the purple speaks of his kingship purple or law and lordship and then and then the scarlet is red it speaks of his offering so what they see is a righteous white 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 linen all right then on top of that where um just let me get my it was the uh the goat skin all right the goat skin what is the goats goat why goat goat skin is when they do the sin offering they need to bring goats so that speaks of on top of this righteousness there's a goat of sin on top of that layer where ram skin died in red jesus is a ram is not the uh, oil oil okay in english um it is not the lady it is the <laughs> is the a ram is the, the male all right so that ram speaks of jesus christ all right you remember the scapegoats the two goats the one they live in the desert he must go they pray upon it the sin came upon the one they will let them go in the desert he's the scapegoat the other one they will there uh, burn all right will be killed that's also an image of jesus christ all right what he will do take a sin away out from us but also become sin died for us so that we can become the righteousness of god so upon that was a red ram it was dyed of blood all right it covers it covers that um, goat skin and then on top of everything else were a badger now um, a skin now it is not nice to look upon it's ugly you know um sea lions uh, they think it can be sea lions um the outer skin all right so that speaks of it's not nice to look upon and it is common and it's actually speaking of it's not beautiful it's common and it is a for service because all their um, clothes you know their um, shoes and sandals were made of this so it's a it's a natural common uh, skin so Jesus Christ will come in a natural form in a flesh form to be a servant of mankind and when he hung on the cross he was not nice to look upon but there were deeper things inside of him and he will be the ram that will die became red to cover the sin 
of the goat so that we can become the white righteousness and not only white linen righteousness but become part of kings and priests unto our God so we are royal purple we are sons of God the blue by washed by the red crimson red stain of Jesus Christ all right so I hope you have found that this series um, has blessed you and everything speaks the blood speak and it still speaks today today we are the body of Christ and we know and we learn how to enter and what we need to do to become truly one in perfection let's go to perfection in oneness and meet God and understand mercy now a person became truly perfected from outside until there and every man on this earth can now go to the deepness in to be one with God not only the high priest anymore ain't this awesome this is so precious to know this that God loves us and he cares for us so I believe you have loved this series and um, I see you in Jesus' mighty name, and bless you. Amen and amen.